Hey guys, I'm back in the last part in Electric Leong's level 11 weapon, the Vine Feather. And now, we're going to unlock the level 11 Pike for the edit officers, which had a total of 3 votes. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we're getting the Pike at level 11, we have to go to Lu Meng's Legend Stage. And make sure you are playing as an edit officer who has the Pike as their weapon. So, if I'm not mistaken, this one right here and before I even continue there are two move sets you can use when you create your officer and making sure that weapon is a pike so there are two move sets that you can use jungle yaos and lu mungs I went with jungle yaos personally for me it really didn't matter but I prefer jungle yaos move set there's really no wrong choice once again but uh Go with whatever works well for you. That's my advice. Anyways, enough of that. Here we go. So, we're in the narration and the special rules, so move on. We know the objectives, we know the unit info, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Eclipse at level 10, the items. I'm going to swap out the Wind Squirrel. And replace it with the peacock urn. The bodyguards, I'll have all eight bodyguards with me. And I'll set the weapon to pike. And that pretty much covers it. So let's do it. Alright. So I'm not gonna talk about the S rank here specifically, because we still have to unlock Lu Meng's legend stage. But to get the level eleven weapon, you're still gonna have to get an S rank kind of regardless. So, to get the level 11 pike, or in order to get the pike at level 11, you have to do the following. You have to defeat every enemy general and officer in the stage, except Guan Yu. Get 50 KOs and secure every gate. But for the pike, the edit weapon pike, if whatever you want to fucking call it, you need to get the 50 KOs first before securing that second gate. So... You need to rack up your KOs now. Fortunately, it's only 50. But, uh, easier said than done. Anyways. Alright, Zhou Song is down. Now go for Liao Hua. I'm going to set my bodyguards to halt for now. That way I can actually get Liao Hua's uh, KO. Alright, so far so good. Yahua is down. Hopefully that's health or something. Perfect. Now I'll have my body bodyguards uh, follow me. And I'll secure this gate first since I'm right here. As I said before, you need to make sure you get the 50 KOs after you secure the second gate. But I still need to defeat one ping as well. So I have a few more KOs I know I could... Uh, play with right now. Alright, got my 50. And now we'll go for Guan Ping. Now attack. Capture Guan Yu. Father, an enemy ambush. Remain calm. Accelerate and break through. Also, I'm pretty sure I said it earlier, but I don't know if I you know, short term memory loss for a second. But uh if you allow any of your allied generals to fall up until the time you unlock the weapon then you'll lose the weapon but once it pops up you're fine so make sure all your allied generals are alive while you're doing all this 
That doesn't help. Alright, one ping is almost down. Alright, got all of the KOs that I need when it comes to officers. And since Wanyu is right there off his horse, I'm going to go and take the red hair. That way I can actually get to the final gate captain quickly. And there we go. And there it is, the level 11 weapon. All I have to do now is complete the stage, which is not easy, because defeating Guan Yu on expert mode is a tough task on its own. That's for me, personally, going through all these level 11 weapons. Anyways, let's finish off the stage. Wait, isn't there an Imperial Seal over here? I think there is. There should be a box over here. Let me make sure that I get Guanyu over here first before I do anything stupid. Like I said, before I do anything stupid. Yeah, that's really stupid. Oh, there it is. But you know what? I'm going to take my time with it. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Because, um... I almost did right there. Or I could just... That works too. I don't mind getting... Uh... I really don't want to break these boxes. So I'm going to let them take out that elite guard. And then I'll go for Guan Yu. You know what? I don't even think I'm going to need the Imperial Steel. But you know what? Ah, shit! There goes the Chumusu attack. Let's, uh, grab it. Got him. And that's a win. Alright. So, that stage and that weapon run actually... That went smoothly. Anyways, our KO count is 68. We defeated everybody in the stage. Our clear time is 5 minutes and 37 seconds. The points, just bear with me because it's going to take quite a bit. But yeah, that weapon run went pretty damn smoothly. I know it's a quick stage to begin with, but damn. Anyways, so the point total is 6,433 points. Uh, yeah, not that that matters because the points, if I'm not mistaken, are at max. Yep. And here is the level 11 weapon. The obliteration. Uh, yeah, the obliteration. I don't know why I'm thinking of something else entirely. Anyways, the level 11 weapon, the obliteration. And just like any other level 11 weapon, the attack power is at plus 60. And the four items that are equipped to it are the Tiger Amulet, which gives you additional attack at level 20. Wong's Bow, additional bow attack, level 10. Cavalry Armor, additional mounted defense, level 19. And the 7 Star Sash, additional luck, level 17. In order to get it, all you have to do is defeat every enemy general, every officer except for Guan Yu, get 50 KOs, secure both gates and make sure you do this without losing any allies also um, make sure you do not um, secure that second gate until you get the 50 KOs for Lu Mong's it doesn't really matter but for this one get the 50 KOs before securing that second gate the first gate you're fine with the second gate make sure you have those 50 KOs otherwise you won't get the weapon Anyways, enough of that. The bodyguards, as you know, 
the grade. Obviously, we got an S rank. It's just a matter of how many points. Okay, 90. That's fine. We'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors for, in some cases, Extreme Legends. Well, in this case, it really is Extreme Legends. And I'll see you in the next part where we will go unlock another level 11 weapon. And the next level 11 weapon we're going to be getting is Zheng Hus. So, peace out.